The king tides are coming to the Bay Area once again, and the king tides are naturally occurring predictable events that all revolve around the alignment of the sun, the moon and the earth. And when they are all aligned directly together, that's when we see the highest and the lowest tides of the year also known as the King Tides. And that's exactly what we're going to be seeing this upcoming weekend. November 15th through the 17th is our upcoming King Tides event. Because of the full beaver moon that will be out there, it officially peaks on the 15th. That will be in a line with the perigree or the moon's closest approach to the Earth. So that, in combination with the fact that it's full, means that we'll be seeing those higher than normal and lower than normal tidal conditions. Because the gravitational pull on the Earth's ocean is just a lot stronger when they are all aligned like this. And the reason that we have widespread alerts on the ground here in the Bay Area, we're looking at coastal flood advisories in effect. These areas that you see below me in bright green and yellow, these are coastal flood advisories as those higher than normal tidal conditions are going to create a bit of minor coastal flooding. It's not going to be anything crazy ridiculous, but it's something to keep your eye on. If maybe you live closer to those coastal communities, you live lower down in some of those low lying areas, you might become inundated with a little bit of water. You also notice these areas in brighter purple closer to the coast. These are high surf advisories as we're looking at those ocean waves getting upwards of 12 to 15 feet and at some of our northwest facing beaches could be upwards of 20 feet as we're looking at a northwesterly swell on the way along with coinciding with the king tide. So that's why we're expecting some minor flooding along the Bay areas over the next couple of Days, and it's something that we'll be keeping a very close eye on as well as we step out all the way 15th through the 17th and even into early Monday morning. We might be seeing a little bit of those higher than normal tidal conditions. So let's break down the exact timing of when we're expecting those highest and those lowest tides. This is here in San Francisco where we are expecting it to be high tide early in the morning on Friday at about 10 a.m. So if you have any early morning walks on Friday, you might want to wait until after 10 a.m. because high tide and next to maybe the Embarcadero or Ocean Beach, you're definitely going to be seeing those much higher than normal conditions. But then low tide is going to be later in the afternoon, and it's something to also keep your eye on. You might notice Saturday, though, that's when we're expecting our levels to be the highest, when we're expecting those heights to be above seven feet here in San Francisco. And on Saturday, it'll be about 1043 AM. Let's take a closer look at the timing, though, of those tidal systems and how high it's going to get at and when, when it's actually going to peak. Again, here in San Francisco, like I talked about, it's going to be about 1043, but closer to our coastal communities like Half Moon Bay and Point Reyes, it'll be about 945, 955, kind of just depending if you're further north or south. And then you head farther inland, areas like Richmond, you're not going to be seeing those highest tidal levels into the later morning hours, closer to about 11. So timing is very important when it comes to coastal flooding and having to worry about a little bit of minor issues when it comes to water inundating your areas, but it's something we'll continue to keep a close eye on again all the way through the weekend. Let's take a closer look at the actual map or graph of those tidal levels. It's again going to be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday system, so any beach plans you might have this weekend, you might want to postpone them or just not plan on actually getting in the water. Friday morning, San Francisco, again, it's going to be about 10 a.m., about 40 minutes later by Saturday morning when we're expecting the peak of this event to arrive. Sunday morning, though, it's still going to be pretty darn high and it's going to be even later again, getting about 40 minutes later each day. But what you also might notice is not only are there very high tides, but there's also very low tides, and this is what I am excited about. Not the minor flooding that we'll be seeing, but the low tide conditions that will allow us to see some tide pools that are only uncovered two to three times per year when water levels get this low. So I am excited tomorrow afternoon to do a little bit of tide pooling, but you might remember the timing tomorrow afternoon or Friday afternoon, I should say. Friday afternoon's timing is about 445. So if you want to enjoy some of these beautiful tide pools in the daylight, you might want to do so on Friday because 445, 450, you can actually see a little bit of it before the sun sets at 5 p.m. By Saturday and Sunday, those low tide conditions are going to be a bit later after the sunset. So if you want to go tide pooling, I would suggest Thursday or Friday to get out. But always remember, look, don't touch. It's going to be a beautiful time of year. Again, these treasures only uncovered 
covered two to three times a year when these king tide events happen. But when you're dealing with the high tide events on the other end of the spectrum, make sure you are aware, make sure you're safe about it. Again, November 15th to 17th, this event will be in place.